Hi everyone, so I've been asked to build an alarm clock, not the kind that wakes you up by going beep beep beep, but one that wakes you up by spraying water on you. And the first thing I'm going to need to do that is a water spray bottle. And I've just got these 500ml plastic water spray bottles. And to work the spray bottles, I'm going to mount a servo on each side of the trigger. So it's going to have two servos mounted on, which is going to hopefully deliver enough torque. If that doesn't work, I'll have to go to an electric motor, but I'm hoping it won't get to that stage. And the interface to the alarm clock is going to be through a TFT touch screen, and this is going to be used to change various settings of the alarm clock and switch it off and on and for timing and stuff like that. The frame is going to be built out of vintage Meccano, and I'm going to have to clean this up a little bit. I've just got a whole bunch of vintage Meccano here. And attached to the frame is going to be some addressable RGB LEDs. Of course, there's going to be a buzzer attached, and that's all going to be running through this Arduino Mega. Okay, so we'll see how that goes. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, so I've got a bit of this vintage Meccano here, and it's got a little bit of this rust on it. I'm going to use this for the frame. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean this up by scrubbing it with steel wool and a bit of soapy water, and then I'm going to paint it with some of this rust guard epoxy enamel and we'll see how that goes. Thank you. I've cleaned it and painted it with some enamel rust guard and it seems to have come up pretty nicely. These are the green ones and these are the red ones and they're just drying in the sun so we'll have a look at those when they come up. Okay. So this is the base here that I've built out of a little bit of vintage Meccano and some Lego. And I'm just going to mount the spray bottle in here like this. And on the back here, I'm going to attach these servos, which have these little holes here so I can drill. I can, I can drill some holes in the Lego and I can just attach these servo brackets here and then put a servo in here. And then on top of the servo, I'm just going to use this old wire spool here, which had wire on it. And I'm just going to have it kind of spinning around. And then to, to pull the trigger on the, on the water bottle, I've got this piece of bungee cord here. So I'll wrap this around here and then the servo will pull this, will spin this around, which will pull it onto the spool and it'll kind of pull it back like this. And I'll have to put something on here, like just attach something to here to stop the bungee cord from sliding along there. And we'll see how that goes. Thank you very much. So these are the servos I've got mounted behind the water spray bottle. And this is the spool that I'm gonna to use to wind the bungee cord on. And I've just drilled a hole in there, just here, so I can attach the bungee cord. I can just tie it through there and tie a knot in it to stop it, to make it secure. And then these are the servo mounts, which fit almost perfectly into this little opening here in the spool at the base. So I can, I can fit these in almost perfectly and I'll just put a little masking tape on and I'll add a bit of hot glue in there to fasten it. And then I'll attach this like this. And then the bungee cord will go around here. And I've put these here on, on, the, on the trigger of the water bottle just to stop the bungee cord from slipping up and down. And the other thing I've done is I've drilled these little holes here so I can just stick up some LEDs inside there, which will be, um, which will be good for the lights. So I wire all that up and um we'll hopefully we'll have it working in the next in the next video thank you so just put a little bit of hot glue in these holes see so these are mounted on the servos and then you just just basically fill them up with hot glue until that bottom hole there and then hopefully that'll stick so this is the water spray alarm clock so far and I've got this piece of bungee cord tied to it, which is supposed to pull the trigger on the water spray bottle. And if I switch it on, just winds it in 
and then winds it out. So I've just got some test code set up there at the moment and I'm just gonna test it with this water spray bottle. So I'll be right back. Right. Okay, so this is the water spray bottle here and I filled it with water. So now I'm gonna put attach it here and see if it works. So basically I just pull the bungee cord over the top and I put it on this bottom one here because right at the end here is where it's got the most leverage. Okay, so I've got to hold it in tight and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna press, I'm gonna switch the on button. Okay, so I put a new spray bottle on, which is a little bit easier to pull the handle on. And I've put this, a bit of uh, Meccano on the end of the handle, just to give it a little bit more leverage. And then this is the, the bungee cord, which is gonna wrap around the handle here. And I've just put this buckle on here from an old backpack which I can just do it up and then I can tighten it. So I've got a little strap there which can tighten. And then if I turn it on, it's hopefully it's gonna pull the water, the, um, the handle and spray some water. See, there's the water spray. Right, once more. Okay. Hi everyone. So I finished the water spray alarm clock and it comes in three parts. So the first part is here and this holds the water spray bottle and it's got this clamp on it here to hold onto the spray bottle while the trigger's being pulled. And it's got a bungee cord which wraps around the trigger. And then the second part consists of these two servos here and these have both got lights on them. And the lights are just addressable LEDs, which I put inside a ping pong ball with a hole in it. And then if we come around here, we can see there's a piece of Perspex I've put here just to stop the, the input controls from getting wet. And here's the Arduino with the, with the controls. So there's a number of buttons. There's a light off, light on button. So I can turn the lights off and on. And I can also control the settings of the light. So the light colors I can control. And I can control the other one. And then I can control the timing as well. So I can go settings, timer. And if I want it to start in say 10 seconds, 10, save. And now it's going to start, it's going to go off. So if we have a look, we're going to see it trigger. There we go. And we see the servos turn as it squirts. All right, so we'll have a squirt again. Hey everyone, so I've got the water pistol attached now to the water spray alarm clock and it goes on pretty nicely onto this clamp and I did have to tighten the bungee cord a little bit with this buckle here but we don't want to tighten it too much because what happens when we tighten it too much is it crushes the Arduino and that's because it tries to draw too much current um, so I've got the servos connected to the 5 volt regulator on the Arduino, which I probably shouldn't have done in retrospect. I probably put, should have put them on a separate power source. But, um, but it seems to work out pretty well as long as I don't over tighten the, the bungee cord. Okay, so I'm going to squirt it now and we'll see how that goes. That's pretty good. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye.